India's per capita income was growing less than the world average. And yet, in the years since your family relinquished the Prime Ministership of India, India's per capita income has grown substantially faster than the world average. Yeah, I'm a great admirer of your great grandfather, Jawaharlal. Indian politics from 2004 through today. You're saying that? Well, make up your mind. Either I have a role or I don't have a role. You can't, you can't give me both options. Please tell us what your role is. Okay, I'm going to... The point is... is that the if I may, let's not have this dialogue, answer, if I may. Could you answer the question? I mean, the question no, is... Yeah, no, is, okay, there, please. is there an answer to the question? Okay. Yes. yes please sir. answer the question. Yes, yes answer the question. Chris, clear hello, question. Hello. I've answered please the answer. question. What? I've answered the question. All right. Yes. Question Listen, I'm going to leave it at this. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad to come over to this group. Sir, go ahead, okay. please. Yes, uh, Short, name, succinct question. Yes, I'll make it very fast. Yes, my name is uh, uh, Anish Mishra. Okay, the, the thing is, I'd like to start by saying that I'm a great admirer of your great-grandfather, Jawaharlal ne Nehru. And I think all the, all the good things that, that, that uh, whatever India is, is, uh, is today is because of the, of the Indian Congress Party. And if you look at the Constitution of India, your party has very successfully um, put in the values of the Congress Party in to the con you, you are you're, you're both going to extremes, right? You're, I mean, give me give me something in the middle, <laughs> sir, 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 Mr. Gandhi. Whoa, whoa. I mean, he's saying he's saying I'm the cause of every single problem, yeah. and you're saying I'm the cause of every single solution. I mean. <laughs> This is crazy, Mr. Gandhi. No, well, whatever there's left to be proud of India today is because of the Congress Party. Okay, the, the thing is that, okay, I want to talk about the idea of India, which you spoke that is being threatened okay. by the... Sorry, can you please ask your question? Yes, right? yes. Okay, my, my question is that in, 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 one of, in one of your speech, very quickly you said that uh, that India, we should not learn the wrong things from Pakistan. And we, if you look at today, India can be compared to, to what uh, Ziaul Haq is. India is living in the era of Ziaul uh, Haq. In fact, when they look at, at us, they say that we thought we were liberals as secular democracy. Today, you turn out to be the, uh, the same as us. So my, my question is this, is that if you, if you, if you, if you come back for power, if, if you um, become the Prime Minister of India, how, how are you going to undo the damage that has been done upon India? All I want is that I want India to, to go back to what it was before Mr. Modi became Prime Minister. And I want to give you, just to conclude, I want to give you one suggestion to put in your manifesto. In the next election, you put this in your manifesto called Restoring India. Because I... It called? Called? Restoring India. Restoring India. Yes. Because my India has been lost. When I look at the map, I can't find my India anymore. And I want you to... Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. My, my, my India is lost. I want you to give India back to me. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Mr. Rao. The see this this conversation, right, shows you the polarization. It does. That gentleman thinks that nothing has ever been done by the Congress Party. This gentleman thinks that everything has been done by the Congress Party. Let me tell you what the truth is. India's success is hugely because of India's people. However, <laughs> however, anybody in this room who thinks that the Congress party is not part of that uh, success, anybody who thinks that gaining independence was not part of that success, that one man, one vote, which the RSS opposed, was not part of that success, Anybody that thinks Green Revolution was not part of that success, anybody thinks Telecom's Revolution was not part of that success, anybody that thinks the liberalization wasn't part of that success, anybody that thinks rights-based paradigm wasn't part of the success needs to write a new book.